So hi, it's Sandra again, and today I'd like to do a video on French nail tips. The two plates that I'm going to use today are a Maniology plates, and this one is M052, and this has all the French nail sizes, and it has this blank one which I'm going to do a video on later, but I've used this. I have never attempted the French manicure. I wanted to try that today, and I have done some experimenting, so I, I've come up with the best way, at least for me, to do these. As you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five rows of different shapes and sizes, different different thicknesses, and you also have different lengths. You really need to just pick out some kind of length and use the size that you want. I'm going to actually use the second row, the third one down. I think that fits really well. I'm gonna use that plate. I'm also gonna use this Maniology plate, and this one is M046, and this one has the little design that I put on my fingers that don't have a stamped flower on it. The stamped flower actually came from this one right here with the reverse stamping, which I will have a video out on that soon. I have this Essie polish and it's called Skinny Dip. I think it really worked well with this. It really looks like a nude color. It really shows off the French manicure. So that's what I used as a base coat. I'm also using the Maniology white stamping polish. I'm also using the Maniology, the one I got in my $15 surprise box. It's called Seashell. It's like fluorescent pink. Obviously my Maniology top coat and a base coat. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh and one more thing is you want to use a really, really soft stamper. I don't think it would work as easy. It would be a little more difficult the way I'm doing it if you used a stamper that was a little bit harder. So I'm going to start by putting my base coat on. I'm going to put a thin coat of base coat. And my nails have already been prepped and are ready to be painted. So I believe I have the best foundation that I can have. All right, so I put on the base coat. And let that dry for a little bit. Okay, that should be good. And then the next color I'm going to do is the SC Skinny Dip. And I'm only going to put one coat of this on because I really do want it to be nice and sheer for a French tip. So I'm just going to put this on. And I'm going to go over the end. Give it a couple more strokes. And that's it. So I'm going to let that dry. And you can see how nude it is. It's not, you don't really see, it's a milky color. So I think it really looks good with the French nail. Let that dry a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stamp underneath the French tip. And you can see it on this finger. And it's just a little vertical, I don't know what you would call it, just a vertical design that I put within using the real bright pink polish and it just kind of it's not unless you're close to it it's hard to see so it does not take away from the French tip so that's what I liked about it and if you go on Maniology's web page and you look at this plate you're going to see almost the same exact thing that I did with my nails so they I just copied from their picture I just added the French tip aspect to it. So let that dry for a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to do my first stamp. I'm going to turn this around this way. I'm going to put some of this neon pink on here. I'm going to scrape it. And then I'm going to pick it up with my stamp. And you can see that it turned out really good. So I'm going to apply it to my nails. So I'm going to push this aside. I'm going to I'm going to line it up with the edge of my finger and make sure that there's enough at the top of my nail and the bottom of my nail and I'm going to put it on there and just roll it over. There it is. So all the little things that are sticking up, the little strings of the stamp or little stamp material that's sticking up, I'm just going to push down. And that looks good. So now I'm going to clean off my stamper with my handy dandy lint remover so that we can go on to French tip. 
So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to clean it with my clothespin and my cotton ball for next time. And I'm not going to clean this up because I'll probably have a little bit of cleaning, maybe, maybe not, with the French manicure. So now I'm going to take my French manicure plate. Again, I'm going to use the second row, the third one down. And one thing you'll find out when you're working with these plates that have a lot of stamping space is that you cannot scrape too hard. If you scrape too hard, you scrape the actual stamping paint off of it. So it ta you need to practice a little before you actually do this. Let's do a white tip. So what I'm gonna do, put my white stamping polish on. I'm gonna kinda put it on there thick. I'm going to take my stamper and I'm gonna wipe it lightly. Now, the other thing I found out with this is that when you do when you stamp, before you stamp another of the French nail tips, you want to make sure that your scraper is clean because if there's any imperfections, like you've got paint on there and maybe there's some cotton lint on there, it'll drag through it and it'll make a mess of your stamp. So I would, for these especially, I mean you should for all of your stamping, but for these especially, you want to make sure that whatever side that you scrape with is clean before you do another one. So I'm going to clean this off, put it aside, okay, and then I'm going to take my handy dandy tape, scotch tape, and I'm going to pull off the stuff that I don't want on here. I see a little bit of spillage here from when I dropped it. Okay, so there is my French nail tip. So what I'm gonna do is put my finger down, and because it's hard to see to do this while I'm looking at the camera, what you wanna do is line this up with the tip of your nail, and you wanna make sure that there's enough on both sides so that when you press down, it's not, one side doesn't have any of the white on it. So I'm gonna line this up, and what I'm gonna do is instead of going side to side, I'm just gonna push it down really hard and as you can see I got my shape and I'm going to take this little dot maker and I'm going to push down the sides that came up a little bit so as you can see it went over my nail and I think it works best if you do at least do this at, stamp it at least twice so as you can see on this one I have a little bit on this corner and a little bit on that corner that I missed and I think the great thing about these is that you could do this multiple times I only I tried to only do it once and although you may see um, some lines from doing it where you did one and you did the other once you put the top coat on you don't see that so I'm going to take my scraper and I'm going to wipe it off. Make sure that I get all the pink off of it and all the white off of it. And then I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to put this on kind of thick. And then I'm going to scrape it lightly. Then I'm going to take my scraper and I'm going to, or my stamper, and I'm going to put it long ways here. And you can see there's a little piece, some pieces missing that came out, but that's okay because I've already stamped it once. So I took off the excess, the stuff I didn't want, push this away, and once again, I'm going to do this on my nail. This time, what I'm going to do is try to do it so that it's a little higher. So that way I cover the air, the tip that I missed the last time. And it's really hard for me to see, but I'm going to do it right here. And I'm just going to push down on it. And there's the second stamp. Okay, I still missed the tip here. So what I would do is you can take a little piece that's left, even on your plate, and I just fill it in. And there you go. 
So this is a great way to do a French nail without having too much worry about how to line it up. Now, I did try to do this with the Sally Beauty French nail stickers. I failed at that. I thought it was very difficult to use because even when you put them on tight, there's always some paint that gets through. You gotta be really careful. And I just think that using this plate is the easiest way to do a French nail. So now that I have that done, and if you can see, I wanna show you this too. Maniology gives you these uh, rectangular stampers when you buy some of their kits. This one is very, 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 very soft and sticky. That's really what you want to use so that it bends over your nail. They did give me another one in another kit. This one is a firmer stamper. So you can see this one is really, really jelly and this one's a little firmer. So I would use the, so the real soft one. Okay, so next I'm going to clean my nail up and then I'll put some top coat on it so you can see the finished result. Use my handy dandy brush here. And I'm gonna do the side. I'm gonna do this side. I do back here. And I'm going to do back of my finger. Okay, so there is my cleaned up nail. So you could see it was very little effort in cleaning. The next step is going to be to put my special top coat on. And here it is right here, the Maniology top coat. And again, when I put this on, I'm going to make sure that it's light. I don't want to scrub it over the nail. Put, I don't want to put too much of it on my brush. Light touch. Do the tip. And there you go. And then when that completely dries, what I'll do is put a my favorite top coat on that's very, very thick and very, very shiny. And that is the Sally Hansen Hansen 3D 3D top coat. Let's see if you can see it. So anyway, thanks for watching and remember again to like my video and subscribe. See you and talk to you next time.